Hey magicians and tiki tribe, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I was going to talk about how to make a successful shop as mine tends to be fairly successful and I figured I'd pass along some advice. So let's get into the video. Light it up, light it up, light it up. The first thing that I would recommend doing is going out to buy your shops. I usually organize my shop by item like clothing items and den items. I have shops for just crowns, shops for Jamalade scarves. I recommend doing something along those lines. That way your shop is more organized or you can do it however you wanna do it. But once you have those shops, you know what you're gonna put into the shops and how much space you're going to need for the shops. So I recommend buying them first. Depending on how many diamonds you already have, I would recommend either making your own shop signs or buying them from somebody so that people will understand your shop better and it's easier to find things. As you can see, I have a shop sign letting people know that I accept diamonds and gems and I have arrows so that people know which way to go. That way it's less confusing because sometimes a lot of people just put their shops in their den and it's kind of hard to tell what's where and it's really hard to navigate. So I would recommend, you know, getting these signs so that people can understand where things in your shop are. Once you've gotten signs, I would start by setting up your shops in a very clean and orderly fashion. That way people can get to them easy because sometimes if shops are too close together, you can only click on one and you can't really click on the other. So make sure that they're spaced nicely apart and that it looks nice so that it doesn't look super chaotic in your den. After you're done organizing, it's time to organize your shops. Make sure that you organize how you want your shops to be organized. I put clothing items in my shop. So as you can see, this shop is dedicated to tiaras. This one is to Jamalade scarves. You can organize your shops however you want to do it. This is just the way that I do it. But make sure they're organized and not super crazy so that it's easier for people to find items, especially if you're advertising certain items. A lot of people have asked me how much items should be in their shops, and frankly, I don't know the universal price for every item, so I usually go around and look at other people's shops, and I kind of average out the price of things, so that I can find a fair price for people. And you can always have people Jamagram you and you can negotiate prices, but I would definitely go around Jama and look at prices and pick the price that seems right to you for items in your shop. The next thing I would do is make sure that you decorate your den so it's not super plain. It might attract more people. I've noticed that the better decorated my dens are, the more people stay. However, this is completely up to you. I just think that it's a good touch to add. This is also completely optional, but adding some gen portals to other shops is very useful. If you have some good friends, I would recommend putting portals in your den to their shops and having them do the same for you. That way you can create this kind of shop train. So, you know, if you want to be in my shop train, feel free to hit me up. But it brings success to your shops and your friends shops and it's really cool. The last piece of advice that I have is to go around to other people's shops, make sure that you pay attention to prices and make sure that you restock frequently. People are going to come into your shop, they're going to buy out a bunch of items and if you're not restocking then you're most likely going to run out of items to put in your shop. What I do is I go around and I look for items that I'm already selling and if they're lower than the price I sell them for, I buy them and then I put them in my shop for the price that I sell them for. And that way I don't really run out unless it's bows because nobody sells bows, which is why I only have one. But that way it keeps you stocked up and you can actually make a profit from the things you buy and sell. And it helps keep your shop going. You can also go out and buy other things to put in your shop. You can change your shop up, and people do like that as well. So just keep that in mind. That is all that I have for today. I hope that these tips 
help you with your shop and help you become more successful. Have a fantastic day, you guys. Light it up, light it up, light it up.